With the upcoming release of Lightfall in just a couple of weeks, and the inevitable situation where Strand will somehow become busted and have some sort of new speed tech given the whole, you know, latching on to uh, teammates thing and Hunters seemingly being, you know, just grapple class, the video game, we're bound to have some sort of speed tech update into that, right? So I thought, for fun, why not make a video about skating currently in the game so people could maybe try to learn it before Lightfall and then combine it into one big thing just for, you know, free speed stuff in the game. So, in this video, we're going to talk about skating for each class, specifically well skating, shatter skating, and put on line rampants. I I mean, uh, uh, titan skating. Yep. So, let's get into that. We're going to go one class, one by one, show example clips, then talk about how you do it. Let's get the video started. So... Today's video is just going to be well skating, shatter skating, and then titan skating. All of these can be used with Eager's Edge swords. However, you can also just do regular skating with just a standard sword with titans because they just fly with lion rampants. For hunters and uh, warlocks, you want to use Eager's Edge for just maximum efficiency. And that's what we're going to cover today. So let's get started with warlock first. As I mentioned, we're going to be using Eager's Edge for warlock and hunter. Just showing it off on the screen here for people that may not know about Eager's Edge somehow. But essentially, it gives you just a giant swing normally when you use it. But when you combine it with well skating or shadow skating, you're going to go insane distances. So this is what it's going to be. This variant right here is going to be a Heat Rises variant. And then I'll show you a regular variant afterwards to the Shuro Chest. Unfortunately, I can't do the Heat Rises one to the full efficiency over there. Because in one swing, I'll just get auto-killed by the uh, kill barrier. So uh, yeah, we're just going to show that one here. So you eat your nade for Heat Rises and then you go... Whee! And then you can abuse Heat Rises for, you know, about 12 seconds. And then you can just pop it again to keep floating. So you just wait until, like, 1. And then back to 15. You can also put away your sword and uh, take it back out to get another Eager's Edge in there like that. Put that in again. There's the, the old kill barrier there. Pop another nade, another Eager's Edge in there, and uh, there's the uh, chest, there you go. That's the long way around. Now, here's the short way without the kill barrier. Okay, here's a regular one straight to the chest. You just kind of bypass the kill barrier and you go straight there, and bam, there you go. So this one you can just use for this method, but the... Extended one with Heat Rises you can use for something like the King Swall Tomb Shifts, which is a very, very long distance normally. Now the question is, how does this work? So we're going to use Theirs of Eternity as our playground today, just because Shiro is bland. And also, I love the checkpoint, but we're not talking about that. And we're just going to explain everything here. So for Warlocks, your ideal combo for this is going to be using Heavy Attack, Jump, and your Super in very quick succession. Like one fluid motion type of thing. Or whatever your controller setup might be. So for me, I'm mouse and keyboard, so it's M2, spacebar Q. But for you, it might be something different because of keybinds or controller and what have you. But in slow motion, it will be like this. You take out your sword. You see Eager's Edge on the left side of your screen. And the moment you see that, you would press M2, which would be that. And then the moment you're pressing M2, you're also pressing spacebar and your super. I, I can't show you an example of my super because then I would lose my super. But that is the... I guess slow-mo version of this, but in real time, it's going to look like this. So it kind of looks like you're, you know, just using your M2, but then your super cancels your M2 out, and you just go and, you know, super glide, pretty much. Now I do want to mention the mini skate for this that I see that Warlocks get wrong all the time. You kind of saw it at the end of the last clip there. So this is just using your sword and then your dash normally without well to just get long distances. So for example, right here, I'm going to take out my sword, dash, and then dash again like that, and then get a higher distance going forward at a faster velocity. A lot of people just do it where they take out the sword and then they immediately dash and it looks like this. And as you can see, my dash just kind of phases out and then I don't actually go forward. The ideal way to do this is... You swing, then you switch weapons, then you Icarus dash, and you'll go much further like this. So I switch weapons, bang, and then I'm going forward. You kind of notice also when I'm switching weapons, I'm bouncing off the ground as I'm doing that, so it gets me forward. Otherwise, you go 
and w wet noodle and you just don't go anywhere so that's another tip that you could use on warlocks to just skate faster one more time let me just demonstrate and sword switch bounce and go forward and there you go and then you just combine wall skating to wherever you want and go ham like so Wee. just don't go out of bounds or you know you're gonna die like this and then it's gonna wipe me please no leave me alone bonus clip here's me using the heat rises variant to get across the entire tomb ships jumping puzzle in king's fall also while i'm flying here in case you're curious i use burst glide for all these clips and that is what i recommend for you to use as a jump for warlocks in case anybody was curious Titans, your jump is a bit more simple, I think. The requirements for you to, to Titan Skate are have Catapult Lift on, just to have your life easier with your Lion Rampants. And speaking of which, you're going to have Lion Rampants on your boots, of course, just for flying forever. And then any sword on this slot, it could be Eager's Edge, it could be a regular sword, does not matter. But those are the requirements, let's go to the battlefield. Okay, Titans, you're all about repetition and doing your loop over and over again to keep you in the air. The idea here is going to be you're going to utilize your jump, get in the air, have a brief like half second delay, let go of your jump, half second delay, swing your sword, then you repeat the combo over again exactly the same, and that will keep you in the air almost kind of like resetting your catapult jump with your line rampants. So that's the idea. Now here's the King's Fall jumping puzzle just for another example. By the way, by no means am I like the best Titan skater or anything like that. In fact, in this clip, you can actually just go straight to the chest door for the secret chest on the left side, straight from the beginning of the ships to the end. But in this particular effort, I just went across and uh, my mediocre swings still got the job done. So it definitely has a, a learning curve, but it's actually pretty forgiving as well. Finally, we have Hunter. So this is the one I'm excited about the most because Strand Hunter will have the similar animation to Shatter Dive on it. So maybe that would mean you can do Strand Skating in Lightfoam, but we'll see. That's getting ahead of ourselves. So for this, you're going to want to be on Revenant. I will note that you could also do the skating on Void Hunter because it has the animation too. But it seems to be much harder on Void Hunter for some reason. So we're sticking for Revenant for this particular thing. So you're going to be on Revenant, and then all you're going to need is an Eager Edge Sword. I will note that you could run Stompies to get a little bit more oomph in your jump to get a little further, but Stompies are not mandatory by any means. As for jumps, I use Triple Jump. You could technically use Strafe Jump for certain like closer distances if you'd like, but I feel Triple Jump is more consistent. So as for the combo itself, you're very similar to Warlocks in what you're going to be doing. You're going to take out your sword, just like Warlocks, and see Eager's Edge, and then start with your M2 or whatever your heavy attack is for your sword. Now, instead of using your super like Warlocks do, you're actually going to be using M2, then Jump, then Shatter Dive. All in a fluid motion, again, very similar to Warlocks. So, this is how it would look in real time. Essentially, you're just swapping out. Instead of using Well, you're using Shatter Dive in this combination. And you get pretty damn far, as you can see, to the point of where the game almost killed me. Last thing I want to note, similar to well skating, it could be a bit finicky if you're on a like a tippy tippy edge of a ledge. So make sure you're on a flat surface or try to be at least something like this where it's nice and flat. Places like where I'm standing right now could also work. Just try to stay away from things like, you know, tiny poles or sticks that you stand on in certain areas and you should be just fine. So from here, let's just do a giant shatter skate. Yeet. And there we go. 
So I'm going to show you one more example of doing this in Kings Fall and also introduce uh, a different variant that I prefer to use. I just dubbed it Shatter Skating Ultra Instinct. Yes, I'm a DBZ nerd, leave me alone. But essentially, it's going to be abusing Shatter Skate plus Blink. So here you go, enjoy. This first one is just to demonstrate you can just use the regular Shatter Skate to get to Tomb Ship A to Tomb Ship B, which is going to be basically the final ship at the end to climb up and then you're done. And that's just the regular version. And then we're going to show the Shatter Skate plus Blink Ultra Instinct version where you go straight from the beginning to the end in one fell swoop. So here you go. Pretty sick, huh? Basically, in case you're curious, you utilize your Shatter Dive on the Revenant subclass, use up your jumps, then switch to Arc Shatter mid-flight to get the Blink, then use both of your Blinks to get across in one shot straight to the end, and hope you land the mark perfectly. I will say it's a little annoying to get used to, to use, but it's super fun once you do, and uh, that's it. As always, hopefully the video helped you, and you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, subscribe. It does help the channel. Much appreciated. And I'll catch you guys uh, soon. The stream daily on Twitch as well. Link in the description below for that. Life all soon. All right, I'm going now.